tucked away in this 200-year-old mill in the quaint English hamlet of Tongue, something thoroughly modern is going on. A small business named after its owners, Elvis and Cressy, is producing luxury bags. The quality and craftsmanship is exquisite, but rather than leather, these bags are made out of decommissioned fire hoses. So of course it's water resistant. It's also scratch resistant. You know, the, a piece of fire hose, you can, you can go like this to a piece of fire hose. You would never do that to a leather bag. Um, it's heat resistant. It's not exactly fireproof, but you know, it's, it's fire resistant. When Cressy Wessling discovered the London Fire Brigade was sending three to 12 tonnes of old hose to landfill a year, she decided to rescue it. But rescuing it is hard work. The outside of the hose is dirty because of grime and soot and things like that. The inside of the hose is often dirty because of standing water, so you can get this jelly, mouldy grossness on the inside of hose. Once clean and dry, the hose is ready for transformation. The team upcycles the nitrile rubber into a range of bags and accessories. Each product sells for hundreds of dollars and half the profits are given to charity. But the outer shell isn't the only repurposed material they work with. What most people didn't realise was that they were lined with failed parachute silks. The dust cover that it's delivered to you in is a failed parachute panel, you know, stitched into a lovely little uh, bag. The packaging we make ourselves from tea sacks that we collect from Yorkshire Tea. And the business hasn't stopped at fire hoses. It's also signed a deal with luxury fashion house Burberry for its leather offcuts, which until now was simply thrown out. The leather is cut into small panels which fit together in an interlocking pattern to make the bags. There's 800,000 tonnes of post-industrial leather waste produced globally each year. So whenever, whenever anyone says what's next to me, I'm going to continually slay leather until this freshly tanned, never been used, beautiful stunning material with lots of wonderful properties just doesn't get incinerated or landfilled. Over the past 14 years, Elvis and Cressy has saved 200 tonnes of product, like this fire hose, from going to landfill. Sure, it's a drop in the ocean of the 40 million tonnes of waste that ends up in UK landfill every year. But it's ambitious and groundbreaking projects like this one that drive social change. The concept of throwing away still usable textiles appalls Cressy and her team, as does the environmental cost of unnecessarily manufacturing new raw materials. They're leading a charge to change the way society thinks about waste, to show that reusing is better than recycling, and to prove that upcycling not only helps the environment, but can be very profitable too. Sarah Morris, TRT World, Tongue.